of the Marvel movie collection today. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Steve Rogers or Captain America. Um, and this is a model based on uh, the Avengers. So obviously you remember we had Iron Man who was from the Avengers. We had a Black Widow whose sculpt was taken from Winter Soldier. And now we've got um, Captain Steve Rogers from the Avengers. So yeah, um, I bought, picked him up today in WH Smith uh, for $12.99. I did my best to pick out the best paint job I could. Um, there were some really, really poor ones, but I think this one is uh, probably the best one that I could find in the shop. So obviously you can use that to go by. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get him out of the box and we'll take a closer look at Captain America. Okay guys, so here is Captain America out of the packaging. So um, first thing, he, you do get a certificate of authenticity, um, just like you got with Black Widow. Uh, I couldn't find one with Iron Man, so I don't know if they did one or not, but uh, the figure that I got certainly did not have one of these. So like I said before, you get a kind of unique number on there. Um, and also it says here, from Marvel Avengers, Captain America. So I really like the fact that you get these, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, just taking a look at the figure then. Um, so firstly, uh, when I say I went through the best painted figure, I did base that on the face. There were some seriously wonky eyes going on in the shop, um, and also some really, really pale faces. So I think um, this is probably the best one that... Um, that I could find, at well, it definitely is the best one that I could find at least. Um, the best likeness to Steve Rogers, but mainly the best paint job overall. So he has got a kind of a mark there, as you can see on the cheek. But aside from that, um, I think the figure is actually better than the one on the promotional advert, I think the figure, you know, this wasn't a figure that I was particularly looking forward to because I thought it looked really, really poor. But I think, as you can see here, I think it actually has turned out a little bit better uh, than I expected. That being said, there were some really poorly painted faces in the shop. So, um, you know, you're going to have to, if you're not a subscriber, uh, have a sift through and try and get one that is half decent. Uh, he's got blue eyes and he's got obviously this kind of yellow. Yellow? <laughs> this dark blonde hair. Yeah, and this guy also had the least pale face in the shop. There were some proper pale faces. So yeah, I'm, overall I'm pretty happy with the face. I mean, yeah, he's got a little mark on the cheek there. Uh, but aside from that, I think it's a decent uh, likeness to Captain America in the movies. Uh, moving on to the outfit. Um, so the outfit is obviously his Avengers outfit. So you've got the uh, silver star here on the chest. You've got the red and white on here on the waist. And you've got this kind of light, lightish blue. Well, I guess it is a dark blue but certainly lighter than some of his other outfits. And you've got splashes of silver around. You've got dark red gloves and just coming around to the shield. Here is the shield. The shield's pretty well painted. This wasn't the best, there were some really good examples of shields in the shop. Um, this isn't the best one, but like I said, I did go for facial features more. As you can see, mine has got a couple of uh, little kind of holes or dents on the shield. There were some uh, perfect examples of the shield, but the faces were terrible on those pieces, so I stayed away from them. Because uh, this shield isn't particularly bad, but there are there were better examples. Moving on to the legs and the belt. Uh, so the belt's in a slightly, ever so slightly darker blue uh, with silver detail, and there's more silver detail on the legs there. And then he has the very very dark red almost brown boots which are well sculpted as well Quite, I really like the pose I think it looks really cool um, 
So yeah, absolutely no issues there. I think, you know, the figures are better in this scale than Eagle Moss's usual scale. So in that sense, I can't have any complaints with the sculpting and the paint actually um, on this guy is, is decent. So yeah, overall, I'm, I'm actually really happy. In fact, I think this is probably my favourite character so far. Um, I think it's the best likeness so far out of the three that we've got. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I wasn't actually expecting much from uh, this figure. In fact, I thought this was going to be the worst figure. But he's actually turned out so far, in my opinion, to be the best figure. Um, you get an A on the base. So that's slightly different to uh, Black Widow where we had a Winter Soldier emblem. Here we've got an Avengers emblem. Or an A. Marvel written here on the base. you got felt on the bottom to make sure it obviously sticks to your glass sturdy and doesn't kind of fall over or skirt around if you do display it in a glass cabinet or on whatever service you do display it on. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this guy. Um, you know, it was 13 quid or 12.99, so you know, it wasn't. These guys aren't cheap, but you know, if you do get into the shop and manage to pick up a decent example, then definitely do so because I think um, the good examples are are really good, but there were some really really poor ones, like I said. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna subscribe. I'm definitely gonna stick to picking these up into the shop um, until which point the shop stops stocking them and then I may pick, start picking up the subscription if I decide to carry on but yeah the shop's certainly gonna I imagine have these for a while to come so yeah there we go there's Captain Steve Rogers as Captain America just taking a look at the magazine quickly then so obviously the magazine follows um, the previous ones really uh, we've got Captain America here with his um, mask on on the front um, what have we got here a piece of cardboard which is handy obviously <laughs> so Captain America uh, obviously played by Chris Evans in the movies um, and yeah I actually think my car my piece is better than the promotional piece put here on the advert I do reckon he's better. May just be me, but yeah, I actually think he's turned out better than that, which is very unusual. <laughs> but you know, you may disagree, but that fake looks terrible on there. Whereas that face actually looks all right. Um, so yeah, obviously it just talks about Captain America. Talks about him in the movies, a little bit about him in the comics. As an interview with uh, Chris Evans, which, you know, all of these have so far had interviews with the ca main ca characters that they are portraying. Um, we've got another subscription advert in the middle, which I'm guessing is going to come with each of these now. Um, what else? So, yeah, more. Well, there's an article here on how they created the movie itself. Um, a little bit of a talk about Josh Whedon, who's the director of the movie. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then also it just showcases four. Who is next? And it gives you your next little reminder. So issue four is 16th of June. Issue five is 30th of June. So two more to come this month and they are going to be four which I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up four because if it's anything like the advertised piece here he's going to be fantastic potentially Loki um, I'll have to wait and see what that piece turns out like and then after that we've got Nick Fury so I don't really have many Nick Fury pieces so I may pick him up as well but definitely going to be getting four absolutely no doubt if he turns out like that, it's going to be fantastic. And then we got the Avengers picture on the back there. So, yeah, there we go. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pause for a minute and I'll get the other two characters and we'll just stand them all together. Okay, guys, so here they are all together. 
So as you can see, um, Iron Man is slightly taller than the other two, and obviously Black Widow is the smallest. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I think all three pieces are decent. I think currently Captain America is my favourite piece. I think that's the best piece so far. Um, you know, these two are hard to kind of separate really, but I'll probably go with Iron Man and then Black Widow. Um, so there is our Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man, our Scarlett Johansson Black Widow, and our Chris Evans Captain America. But yeah, so far, I'm definitely going to go with Captain America as being my favourite piece. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing updates on these. You know, I'm not going to be collecting them all, but I will be collecting the ones that I like. So if you're interested in my reviews and seeing my opinions on these guys, just subscribe to my channel. And yeah, we look forward to seeing Thor um, in a couple of weeks' time. Definitely looking forward to him. Anyway, so, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day today.